Okay, folks, the managing sessions section of the Affable Bean tutorial really centers around uh, two Java classes. Uh, and those Java classes are shopping cart and shopping cart item. Now, let me just pull up uh, a text editor here, Sublime Text. And I actually downloaded uh, the Affable Bean Snapshot 5 that has all the session information in it. That's the complete session information. And under Source Java, there's a package named Cart. Let me see if I can pull that over. And there's the shopping cart. Okay, and here's a shopping cart item. Uh, now let's go to the shopping cart item first. So in the Affable Bean project, a shopping cart item is basically a product, okay, from that's an entity class from the product table, and it's a quantity. So it basically it has two things. It holds a product and it holds a quantity. Okay, and you can create a new shopping cart item by passing in a product and it automatically gets a quantity of one. You can get a product, you can get a quantity, you can set the quantity, you can increment a quantity, decrement a quantity, and uh, you can get the total. And get total is actually, you're getting the total price. So you can see here it's calling through to uh, product dot get price. All right, so that's a pretty uh, basic uh, data class with some getters and setter methods, and basically it it it's simply product with some quantity information, and it doesn't have a lot of uh, extra information that product has. Okay, it doesn't have description. It doesn't have uh, the name of the product, all right? It doesn't have get name or get description or anything like that. It just has what is needed for the purposes of the shopping cart. And of course, you can get all that information through by accessing get product. Okay, so in some sense, you don't really need uh, to create a bunch of methods in here. Okay, so that's the shopping cart item that's a shopping cart item basically a product and a quantity and then this is a shopping cart the shopping cart essentially holds a list of shopping cart items it uh, keeps track of the number of items and it keeps track of the total which i believe is just the total price of everything in the shopping cart and number of items is a uh, number of total items in the shopping cart. And you can see it's got a constructor here. Uh, you can add items to the shopping cart. You can update the number of items in a shopping cart. Uh, in fact, you can use this to remove items from a shopping cart by making the quantity be zero uh, and note that this quantity is a string here it is not an integer okay because that's what's going to be passed in in the in the from the web pages you're going to get strings uh, as parameters not integers okay and uh, you can get all of the items, get a list of items from shopping cart. You can get the number of items in your shopping cart and get a subtotal. You can calculate the total. Uh, you can just return the total and then you can clear your shopping cart. All right, so uh, one of the obvious things obvious things we have to do uh, is we have to change these products to books okay or else it's not going to work for us because we have a book table not a product table 
So in order to do that, this again, this is downloaded from the Affable Bean tutorial. Uh, I'm simply going to go over here to NetBeans and under Source Packages, I'm going to say New Java Class and I'm going to call that class Shopping Cart. And I'm going to put it in package cart, and that'll just create that package cart for me. And then I'm going to go back to my text editor. I'm going to select all, copy it, and then select all and paste it. Okay, it doesn't know what a shopping cart item is or a product is. That's fine for now. I'm just going to save that. Uh, and I'm going to create another Java file, another Java class named shopping cart item. Finish that, and then I'll do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and get this shopping cart item select all, copy, select all, and paste. And then save it. Uh, and of course you can see, let me just go ahead and expand this. You can see that uh, it's complaining it doesn't know what a product is. So we're just going to use book. It should know what a book is. And everywhere we see product, we're going to replace it with book. Okay, so I think we've done uh, the changing of product to book.